This first button here is your battery. We got a full, we got a full charge. Okay. This is the fresh water tank. It's empty. Black tank is empty. This is the uh, gray tank number one, which is uh, the shower and the bathroom sink. Gray tank number two is your kitchen sink. They're all empty. Then we got a ceiling light here that turns on all the ceiling lights. Then we have an exterior light. It's light outside, so you can't see it, but there's an LED light under the awning. We'll turn that on. All right, water pump. You only need the water pump if you're using the water out of the freshwater tank. If you're plugged into city water or a water spigot coming into the outside, you do not need to turn the water pump on. Only if you have to pump water through, through uh, coming from the fresh water tank. All right, this is these two are for water heaters. Okay, putting on electric is fine. We don't want to run the, the propane tanks out. So using electric is just fine. Now, if you've got a, you know, you've got four people that need to take a shower back to back to back, turn both gas and electric on, it'll heat it up quicker. Now, the hot water tank is only six gallons, only holds six gallons. So uh, one person taking a shower would be fine. If you've got four people lined up, you want to get wet to turn the water off, lather up, and then turn the water back on to rinse yourself off uh, to preserve the hot water. Uh, the next is the, the slide in, the slide out. Okay, it's out currently. I'm gonna push up to bring it in. Now, when you're taking it in and when you're taking it out, when it gets to the end, it's going to, you're going to hear it click the, the, the gears. You can kind of tell, I'm going to pause it for now. You can kind of tell when it's getting close because it will tilt up. It's going to tilt up when it's coming in and it's going to tilt down when it goes out. So when you see it tilt up here, you'll know it's about to start clicking. All right, it's tilting up and that click is when you know it's in. Okay, your awning, your switch is right here. Uh, I'm not gonna do both at the same time, but the awning is right here. Now, when you pull the awning out, I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and extend it. You can see it going out there. Okay, the canopy's all the way out. Now, here's the thing, if you ever get water trapped, if it rains, you ever get water trapped on top of there? All you gotta do is pull this, okay? Pull it down. And the water will come right at you. If it's windy, do not use the canopy. Do not use a canopy if it's windy. 15, 20 miles an hour could easily tear this thing off and these things are very, very expensive. Uh, if you leave the camper, put the awning up. Uh, before you go to bed, put the awning up. Don't leave it out. Uh, when it's not being attended. Okay, this is the master bedroom. Let's turn on the lights. You've got two shelves here, closets, if you will, hang clothes. Got a little cubby hole there. That's an air freshener we keep in there. Uh, we keep plastic on the beds. It's a very firm mattress. So we've also got some egg crates that you can use if you need to. Uh, these shades here, there's one here, you just push, uh, push up and pull down. That's all you do there. Okay. We also have a vent. Make sure that vent is shut before you, you head out. Uh, right down there is the uh, fuse box. Okay. We have extra fuses as well in the, in the drawer. Uh, under the mattress. See that? Got a little place for storage. Pretty handy little box there. Okay, then of course we got we got a trash can there too for you. We've got a fully stocked kitchen here. Uh, we got plates, cups, bowls. Um, we also have a, a coffee maker for you. We got some filters up there. We've got some paper towels, some pot holders. 
various uh, utensils for the kitchen that I'll never use. <laughs> Forks, knives, spoons, scissors. There's a cutting board down there. Under the sink, we've got what you would typically have under the sink. We've got some, a dustpan, uh, got an ice tray, a bucket, some sponges for cleaning for washing dishes. We've got dishwashing soap. Under here, we've got some pitchers, strainers. Uh, hanging on the wall over there, we've got two fly swatters and some forks for, uh, for cooking hot dogs on the grill or s'mores or whatever you like to do on the fire, on the campfire. Now we come to the reason why most renters rent from us, rent this camper, is because of these nice chairs. And they are as comfortable as they look. And they're right across from the TV. Right here in the cushion there, you just pull that lever and that's how you pull the feet out on the recliners. This is a Roku TV. So uh, it also has an antenna on the roof. So if you're able to pick up any local stations via antenna, you can use it that way, but it is a Roku device. Therefore, if you want to watch movies, download movies or, or, or whatever, you need a Roku account. Obviously you'll need internet, uh, the best way to do it. Probably the only way to do it, unless the campground has Wi-Fi, is to uh, tether it to your phone. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, you, there's plenty of YouTube videos on that. Uh, tether it to your phone, set up a Roku account, and you'll have access to movies. But most campsites, cell service is sketchy. If you don't have Wi-Fi, you might have to go a camping trip without TV. The radio, this controls the volume. Uh, of the TV and also the the uh, radio. It's also got a Bluetooth. You can hook up to your phone and play music. Zone A is the speakers inside the camper. Zone B is the speakers outside the camper. Uh, they do not get very loud, which is a good thing. You don't want to bother the other campers. Uh, there's a lot of other modes on here, but pretty handy. It also plays DVDs and CDs. Now we come to our dining room table. This will also turn into a bed. I'm not gonna demonstrate it for you, but it's real simple. This pulls off, just muscle a little bit. It'll pop right out of the floor. You set your pedestals aside. You take the table and you slide it right onto there. Fits perfectly. Then you take your cushions, lay them over, and you got yourself a bed. We have gone through the camper. For those of you who are renting from us, we hope these series of videos were helpful. Uh, and you've, of course, you can always call us. You have our number. You can always call us if you have any other questions. For those of you who are prospective renters, uh, if you have any questions, you can reach out to us on the rental site. And uh, we hope to uh, do business with you soon. Have fun.